Have you been caught in the same whirlwind of Nintendo rumors and quote unquote leaks and supposed sources swirling around the internet lately as I have? If so, you've probably seen the speculation about Nintendo's next console, which many have dubbed the Nintendo Switch 2. But hold on to your Joy-Cons because I think that that name might just be wishful thinking. So strap in as we unravel the mystery behind Nintendo's next move. And trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end because what I've got to say might just save Nintendo from a financial game over. So here's my three reasons why I think the name Nintendo Switch 2 won't see the light of day. So the first reason Nintendo's not gonna call it Switch 2 is this. The core fans are gonna understand that it's a new console, but the mass market will not. Nintendo has already tried this type of naming convention before, in fact, multiple times, and they've yet to do it successfully. Take a look at the DS to 3DS, or the Wii to Wii U, Game Boy to Game Boy Advance, even NES to SNES. Every time that they do this, the second console always has significantly less sales. Take a look at the most dramatic example. The Wii sold a whopping 100 million units worldwide, whereas the Wii U, believe it or not, only sold 13 million. That's only a quarter of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe's sales. Now the core Nintendo fans are gonna look at it and immediately know that there's gonna be more power, you know, which means better quality games maybe, and new experiences that were unable on the previous console. Or maybe it's just because we already gave Nintendo our direct deposit. But to the casual person, they're gonna see the Wii U and think, well, we've already got a Wii. Second, Nintendo Switch's successor will both be a similar console and a completely different console at the same time. In my previous video, I explained the pattern that Nintendo typically uses for the releases of their consoles. If you haven't seen that video, I highly recommend you do, but if not, this is the pattern in a nutshell new and exciting thing that everyone loves, and then they make an iteration of that previous console. Aside from the financial reasons why this pattern tends to fail, there's another failure point this time around that's unique. On one hand, the new thing is what sells best because anyone can look at it and easily tell it's something new and exciting. There's a very strong visual selling point that can be understood by everyone. On the other hand, Nintendo's in a very different position now than ever before. Nintendo's got a winning formula with the Switch and believe it or not, it's actually set to pass the PlayStation 2 as the best-selling video game hardware of all time. So why would Nintendo give this up? In fact, many Nintendo fans love the formula and don't want it to go away. So I think that the next console will be a similar console to the Switch, that being a hybrid console, while also being completely different, having that thing that's exciting and unique that anyone can look at it and tell that's new. And third, the title is one of the most important factors in their console's marketing. Every Nintendo console name briefly explains in a bite size what the console is. It's like a logo. Logos subconsciously convey so much more than just words. They leave a lasting, or temporary, effect on people depending on how sticky the name is visually and audibly. In just hearing the name, or just a glance at the logo, you've gotta understand the basics about the product. The name Switch, for example, refers to the fact that you can switch between handheld, tabletop, and TV. The DS, you know, it had dual screens. The Wii was about Wii, meaning that everyone can join in, even if we can't spell. So in a sense, it's almost impossible to make any decent guesses as to what the next console's name is gonna be without knowing what the new gimmick is. So when considering these three points, I think it's also important to remember that Nintendo is gonna do whatever <laughs> Nintendo wants to do, regardless. They've been known to just kind of send it and do whatever they want, so. <laughs> And I mean, it's contributed to their success. You know, they've carved themselves their own lane. Nintendo likes to try new things, but they also know what works for them. Also, I think there's something to be said about the fact that they just made absolute bank from the Switch, the games, and even the movie in the parks. So I think they might be fine with their next console, you know, doing slightly worse financially if it means having a deeper vision and doubling down on the Switch's already extremely strong branding. Also, it's important to remember that the Nintendo Switch has potential to be the best selling console ever, which means that for their next console to be the best console as their company, they've got to make the best console ever again. <laughs> So who knows, Nintendo is gonna Nintendo. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support lately. It's been super fun, especially in the community tab. If you guys go over to the community tab, you're gonna see so many fun interactions. I've had so much fun making these random polls and people are, <laughs> people are just hilarious. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.